Okay, so we back again. <laughs> Girl, knocking these videos out. Hold on, y'all, because my head itch. Um, it's happening. So, again, um, we are talking about domestic violence. And remember in the previous video of <laughs> that son of a bitch, Zachary, um, I did, oh, disclaimer, uh, domestic violence involved. So, if this is a trigger warning. If anybody is an abuse victim or survivor, just, you know, trick a warning. Um, second of all, I cuss. I'm going to cuss in this one. I'm definitely going to cuss. Probably, I'm definitely going to probably, I'm, I'm going to get mad. I don't even know why I be saying probably. It's going to happen. Um, so if you don't like cussing, yelling, uh, all that shit, don't, don't even. <laughs> like, don't even. But if you do, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Either way, and keep watching the video. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I spoke about domestic violence in the last video, right? And I keep I keep feeling like I gotta keep saying this, and I don't. I'm gonna keep talking about it. I don't understand why y'all gonna get it, but I want to talk about the other side of it. Um, men. Now. Again, this is not to undermine women as victims. Let me be clear when I say that. I work with victims, period. I don't care if you are a woman or a man, domestic violence is domestic violence. But am I more passionate about men and domestic violence? Yes, because it hits close to home. Because, again, as I always say, that's how my daddy died. So it hit, it, it hit, it hit different. Also, because people don't talk about it. There are no resources in Houston. There's no place to go. Ain't no men's shelters. And I had a cop tell me this. No bullshit. I had a cop tell me he was responding to a domestic violence call where the man was the victim. And he was he wanted to leave. He got him out of there. Didn't have nowhere to take him. It, nowhere to take him. Y'all, we gotta we gotta do better protecting our men, y'all. We got especially our black men. We gotta do we gotta do better because they are victims too. That's what we don't realize. Men are victims too. So, with that being said. I contemplating on doing this one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it because it was brought to my attention. Brought to my attention. <laughs> Childish. It's late. Uh, came across my desk and somebody asked me to talk about it. Somebody asked me to do it or whatever. And um, I said, okay, cool. Billy Sorrells and Courtney Camaro. Now, let me just put a couple of disclaimers out there. Didn't know who these people were before it was brought to my desk. I'm not in the media. I don't watch TV. Uh, Billy Sorrells is a comedian upon my research. I don't really know what Courtney do. I'm not going to lie. I was looking at her Instagram and I was like, uh, I, I mean, she a model actor, actress. I don't, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like I really don't give a fuck. So, um, I don't know what these people, apparently they got some toxic relationship shit going on. Um, I tried to do as much research as I can, but believe it or not, it ain't that much. I wanted to talk about this specific situation that's been going on, but uh, on a different kind of level. <clears throat> I want to bring light to the violence against men. So we're going to play some clips, um, and, and I'm going to talk through the clips. So what we're going to start with is in May, from, from my research, from what I got, in May, Billy Sorrell's post um, about his wife beating him with the video and also an article with his face looking like this. That pissed me off. I don't like that. Now, apparently, it's possibly drugs involved, uh, cocaine. I mean, sis do look a little skinny. I'm just saying. She look a little wild out there, especially in this video. But I just, just put that relationship to the side, all of the drama and shit they got going on. We talking about this situation right here. 
We talking about this situation right here. So in May, and I'm going to tell y'all why I'm talking about this and why this hit home in a minute. So in May, he posts, uh, or he talks about his wife beating him, and he also posted on his Instagram that I saw some, that he, you know, called the cops. Cops were involved with her hitting him. So he's the victim. This happened in May. He said it in May. But people don't take it seriously when men are victims, when men are abused. Just in case you don't know what abuse is, if you push a man, slap a man, hit a man, put a weapon to a man, all that is abuse. Y'all do know that, right? Abuse comes in all forms. You put them in a chokehold, everything, all that's that's abuse. Whether it's a man or a woman, that's abuse. It's domestic violence is what it is. And y'all seen his face. That's clearly abuse. So he says this in May. Of course, people probably, now in May, I didn't see it, but the article link in the description was in May where he said his wife beat him. So, in May, he said it. Now, a couple days, was about a week ago now? Possibly two weeks, depending on when this video come out. She then goes on media takeout. First of all, it's media takeout. Like, I'm not, listen, don't get me wrong, I ain't no big influencer, podcast, or YouTube, or whatever yet. But it's media takeout. Like, I don't even think, when was the last time I even heard about media takeout? Like, I don't take media takeout seriously no more. But she went on the, the Tap In podcast, and then I seen it was posted on Black Babbles YouTube. Whatever. I, don't, I watch Natalie. I don't be getting into all that shit. But she's interviewed, and she says this. So we're going to play that video. All right. Let's hit it. Um, habits turned into rage. And those rages, those rage moments put me in the ICU. So I woke up, I had, you know, a broken arm, um, fractured thumb, um, fractured jaw, couldn't speak. So at what point does it turn bad between you and Billy? Because I know I've witnessed some, some domestic violence shit mm -hmm. and me and Dre had to step in. Yeah. I, I remember that. At, was that the first time that, that that me and Dre witnessed it, or was it? Um... That's probably like the second or third. Really. And that time, oh man, you're, oh you talk, oh I remember that time. And then you had to take me to all the way to the garage because we had, you had to wake me up. That's crazy. Yeah. Ooh, that's deep. I'm trying to tread lightly here because it's a lot of mixed stories going on. Now, from what I can tell in my experience, uh, for one, she's skinny as fuck. <laughs> Let me just put that out there. Sis definitely probably on that shit. Um, for sure, on that shit. It, it just, it, she looked confused. Um, she looked confused in the in the video. Like her vibe was just giving me like I don't recall vibes, but I think that's what happened. And the interviewer, he says he witnessed it. If you go to Billy Sorrell's, Billy says he's lying. That's not the point. Whatever. I yeah no, I'm not gonna say that she was not a victim. I'm not gonna say he has never put his hands on her because I don't know that for sure. I, I don't know that for sure, so I ain't gonna say that. I, I'm a part of me is a little suspect. It's a little suspect. That's all I'm gonna say. But she could very well be a victim. My concern is the next video that I'm about to play. That that's that's what my concern is. Okay. So now we're gonna play the one that Billy Sorrells posted on his Instagram. Can I have my phone, please? No. Give me my phone, Courtney. Give me my fucking computer. I don't have none oh, of this Oh, now stuff. you're, now you're. Hey, stop, stop. You're abusing me. Stop. Stop, you're hurting me. You're hurting me. Stop. You're hurting me. Stop. Stop. 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 Hurting me.
me. Stop! 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 You're hurting me. All right. You know what? Um, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. Uh, say, Billy. I and I'm not joking. I'm I'm just I'm serious, Bruh. When you posted that, I, I completely understand the message he is trying to portray because the comments was eh, half and half. It it was eh, it, some of it made me mad. Because it's like people don't be taking shit seriously and that's what pisses me off. Like, when are y'all going to realize that shit be serious out here? Like, everything ain't a joke. Like, violence is fucking real. You clearly just see, first of all, she look high as fuck. You clearly just see her attack him. That is abuse. Men experience domestic violence, too. I don't know how many times I got to say this. Why do we not talk about that? Because had it been the other way around and she posted a video of him whooping her ass, it would have been a whole nother different thing. But because it's, it's him being the victim, ain't nobody saying shit. Like, and he's saying the same thing. Like, people forget about men. And I feel the same way. And that makes me so mad because it's literally like, again, remember I told y'all I was going to tell y'all how this hit home. Before my daddy died, he told my uncle and a couple other people, this lady going to kill me. Like, this lady crazy. She, she going to kill me. My daddy knew he was going to die. The day before he died, a couple days before he died, he gave some money and the title, because he had an 18-wheeler, he gave the title to his truck and some money to the woman and told her, if anything happened to me, take this. This is my brother's number. He a police officer. I want you to call him. My daddy knew he was going to die. It wasn't just a, oh, it wasn't a shooting. It was an ongoing situation. It was a, oh, she was abusing him. And you know what happened? Nothing. Not a goddamn thing. She never got arrested. As soon as the police arrived on the scene, they see a woman crying and a dead man who they assumed was a thug when he really wasn't. So now automatically she's the victim. They didn't arrest her. They didn't take her to court. She didn't get a rank. None of that. She got away scot fucking free with killing my daddy. She got away scot free with domestic violence. Because people do not take that shit seriously. That is domestic violence. The woman is not always the victim. That shit make, oh, that shit make me sick. It, it run me hot. It run me hot. I don't like that. He knew it was coming. The same way Billy Sorrells posted the goddamn, he called a cop. Like, in my, in my opinion, he got more, way more evidence than she do. Because somebody put in, somebody put in the comments, well, I mean, where the pictures? Like, where the proof? And then I guess Black Babel responded, talking about, well, well where's your proof? Or some smart ass shit they said. I mean, honestly, I'm kind of wondering the same thing because if, if bro posted it in May and ain't nothing happened, ain't nobody say nothing or nothing like that. And then she backed though two weeks ago or, you know, two weeks ago by this time and says that he put her in the ICU. And then you, wait a minute, hold that, hold the fuck up. Y'all know what pissed me off? I know we do shit for clout, like the thumbnails and shit on YouTube to gravitate and bring y'all into the video. What pissed me off is these motherfuckers had the nerve to put a picture of a motherfucker with a broken arm and the head was cut off. Like the woman had a broken arm and it was, the head was cut off. And you know it wasn't her. It wasn't Courtney. It was just some random fucking picture. Why would you do that? And then it's another one where it was somebody hooked up to some machines in a hospital. This is the thumbnail. So people can click on that shit 
thinking that it's a picture of her that's gonna pop up somewhere in the motherfucking video. You you drawing attention to the video. To the fuck ass video. That right there, that scream fucked up to me. Something about that tell me I can't trust you. I off the rip can't trust you. Like I do, I know we do the thumbnails and shit for clicks, get people to click on shit, cause it get me all the time. I see a thumbnail be like, ooh. And the description too. My description, I'm gonna put what the fuck I'm talking about. Them descriptions, I click on that shit and I be like, damn. This is exactly what I need. And it don't be shit about the goddamn title. That shit pissed me off. Don't play with abuse like that. Don't be posting pictures in your thumbnail and shit, having people think that that's that girl going to the ICU and she all plugged up and broke up and fucked up. Like the previous video, we seen her, we seen Chris Evans the, from the previous video, um, that's, that Zachary fuck nigga and his damage. We seen the video, we seen the, we seen the bruises, we seen all that. She put that out there. And I'm not saying you got to put all your business out there. If, if Courtney didn't want to post no pictures and post no proof, that's on her. She ain't got to do that. She does not have to do that. What I'm saying is if the man says something in May and then here she comes now saying this, so he reminds y'all, did not tell y'all in May this, 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 I'm going to call her a B word. Jesus. <laughs> Hold it. Did not tell y'all she was abusing me. Like, what, what, what is happening in life? What is going on in the world? <sighs> y'all, real shit? Like, men are victims too, and y'all gonna have to understand that. We gotta do better with talking about that. I'm telling y'all, like I said in the last video, if the Lord bless me with some money, it's gonna be some changes made. It's, it's going to have to be some changes made because men are out here suffering. A lot of men are in jail because of being falsely accused or something. Men are out here getting beat on and they not saying nothing because people going to laugh at them. Bro, you got your ass beat by a woman. Bro, that's fucked up. Nigga, you weak. You this and this and this. People are going to say stupid shit like that and that causes men not to say nothing. It take a brave motherfucker to get on there and put a brave man to get on there and post a video of them getting hit or abused in some way. So I gotta respect them. I'm 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 with it. I gotta support them. Like I, I have to. That shit hit close to home. I don't I don't that shit hit too close. Y'all know how I am about my daddy and y'all know how I am about domestic violence. That shit hit close to home. When it was brought across my desk, it was brought across my desk for that reason. Because this shit is really happening. Men are really getting abused and y'all need to quit laughing and take that shit serious. Now, whatever else they got going on in their relationship, that ain't my goddamn business. My concern is you don't put your hands on no man. You put your hands on your on a man, you, you gonna get your ass beat back. Because had he whooped her ass after she did all that, my personal opinion, that's self-defense. That's self-defense. A man has the right to defend himself just like a woman does. Everybody has the right to defend themselves. Do not put your hands on no man. I don't know how many times I got to tell women that. Quit playing with these men. Because you're going to get your ass beat. It's one thing to be a victim, but self-defense is another thing. Like, you, he clearly said, stop, you hurting me. Like, come on, bruh. Y'all really don't think this is happening? This is happening. I'm telling you, I know from experience, this is happening. That man really did get beat up, and it's fucked up. And I, you know, he, he a brave soul for posting it. He is. People going to say what they want to say about it. People probably going to say what they want to say about my opinion. I don't care. My opinion is my opinion. Opinions like assholes. What I said, what I said. I feel the way I feel. On everything that I say. It don't matter what I say. I said what I said, and I have my opinion. The shit was fucked up. It's not cool. That shit not cool. 
Keep your hands to yourself. Everybody, keep your hands to yourself. Unless you are defending yourself, keep your hands to yourself. Because you, the minute you get hit back, it's a whole other story. Then you got to play the victim. I really need to post that video, that I, the reaction video I did on that documentary about men too and dealing with domestic violence. I, I need to post that. I need to post that because I feel like people need to see how it works the other way around. When the man is when the man is the victim, because you know that happens. One in seven men. Purple for Randy is an actual thing. That's all right, Daddy. I got you. I'm a, I'm gonna keep fighting. Because that was messed up. My daddy didn't deserve to go out that go out like that, and it's a lot of men who didn't deserve to go out like that, and it's a lot of men still dealing with that shit to this day. Whether it's one time, whether it's multiple times, it's happening. You done seen it with your own eyes. What more do you need? Ain't no way to justify that shit. It ain't no way to justify that shit. Let me go for y'all make me mad. Anyway. Billy Surreals, um, much luck to your brother and your healing. That baby need help too. Courtney, Courtney need help. I, she look like she on drugs. She need help too. Whatever goes on in their relationship, I just, I, I pray it. I actually, I mean, that they, they don't need to be together. <laughs> like, they don't need to be together. They need to be separate. But I had to bring the situation to light. I had to say something on it because it hit me. Everything else ain't my business. But that is. I made it my business. Okay? Y'all understand? All right. Glad we got that out the way. Um, so make sure again, you like, comment and subscribe. Uh, no, it was a lot. It's, it's, it's a lot. These videos have been a lot because I recorded them again all in the same night, <clears throat> but they'll be posted on separate days. And then I'm gonna bring y'all some, I got something else for y'all. That's gonna light me up. But vlogmas is coming. My Jamaica trip is coming too. Just had to end it with that. But I will see y'all next time, and as always, bye.